I don't know why the Lord instructed me two days ago to bring forth this word. And I believe God is doing that because someone needs to get violent today. Hosea chapter 9 and verse 7. If you have your Bible, Hosea 9. You have Isaiah. You have Jeremiah. You have Lamentation. You have Ezekiel and Daniel. You have Hosea. Osea, or Osi, or Osei. Osi, Osea. Osei. Have you found it? Verse 7. Everybody will shout and read it together everywhere. Are you ready? One, two, go. The days of visitation are come. The recom days of recompense are come. Israel shall know it. The prophet is a fool. The spiritual man is mad. For the multitude of thy iniquities and thy great hatred. Tell seven people holy madness. Preach that to seven people. Say holy madness. You are not preaching well. Move around. Demonstrate it. Say holy madness. He said the days of visitation have come. The days of recompense have come. Israel shall know it. The prophet is a fool. The spiritual man is mad. It does not make sense when a prophet sees somebody who has been carrying captivity for years and tell the person that in one month the captivity will turn. That's foolishness. It doesn't make sense. And also, I like to under make you understand. He said the spiritual man is mad. In other words, in this world of wickedness, it's abnormal to be normal. If you must make an impact in the spirit, you must have some level of insanity. You must have some level of aggression. You must have some level of abnormality. Somebody say holy madness. In the book of Acts, the Bible says there was a man. The name of the man was Peter. He was thrown into jail, chapter 12. And they began to pray. While they were praying and praying, they were still gathering together praying. All of a sudden, a young girl, she was a house help. Her name was Rhoda. In the midst of that prayer, she had expectation. She prayed to a level where she knew anything could happen. Why others were just there? Part of her spirit was outside. And she had a knock on the door. And she went and opened the door and said, Peter is already here. They say, you don't understand what you are saying. We are praying for God to bring him out. Maybe in one month time. She said, Peter is already outside. And in verse 15, they said to her, you are mad. You are not normal. She prayed herself to a level where she was not connected to this world. There is a level you pray to. What people do is not what you do. You get rebelliously abnormal. Am I speaking to somebody? You pray to a level what they are running from is what is running from you. Somebody say holy madness. Follow me. Are you ready? In Acts 26, Paul, Apostle Paul, was talking to a man called Festus. Festus was a governor. The man was intellectual. Festus was a man that had the power of diction. Festus was a very learned governor. And while Paul opened his mouth and began to talk, in Acts chapter 26, when he got to verse 24, 
Paul Festus said, too much learning has made you mad. You know too much that you don't operate like a human being. What am I here to tell us this morning? I say there is a level a man gets to that if you want to get certain things from God, you need to operate some level of insanity. You need to borrow some characters from the madman. You need to look at the madman on the street and borrow some characters from them. You cannot be normal and marry on time. You cannot be normal and carry your baby. You cannot be normal and carry financial wealth. You cannot be normal and get a visa. You must have some level of insanity. Everybody, I'm laying the foundation. Follow me. Everybody was just there looking at Jesus pass. There's a protocol on ground. Don't touch this man. Somebody became insane. He said, if I touch the hem of his garment, if I can touch, I looked at the madman. Have you noticed that when you have nobody, your excellency, nobody can have a case against a madman. If a madman takes your, your property, no case. Insanity is what? A defense. No man can take him to a law court. The madman does not vote for anybody. Nobody votes for him. He's so independent. Even above 18, he's not permitted to, he's not licensed to vote. Nobody can register him. Nobody gives him a voter's register. But he's very legitimate. And I began to look at the madman and began to pick some qualities in the life of the madman which must apply in the realm of spirituality. Number one, the madman owns the area. Now, when a madman is coming and you are coming, you are the one to give way, not him to give way. Oh my God. Do you know that there are certain madmen that are described with areas? That madman near the market. They forgot the bank near the market. They forgot the massive infrastructure. They said that madman near he owns the area. The madman moves with this audacity that I'm in charge. If you have a shop and the madman breaks to your shop, you need special arrangement to eject him. You cannot give him quick notice. He lives at his own time. The madman can sleep anywhere. The madman does not pay rent, but he sleeps. The madman does not lodge into any hotel, but anywhere he enter, he sleep. He owns the area. So God is saying, you must apply some level of insanity. You must have the insanity of the madman to know that so long I'm in this vicinity, I am in charge. So long I'm from this place, I am in charge. I own the area, for the earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof. I own the area. No one can intimidate me. I own the area. What stop others can't stop me. I own the area. I should step to that office. You are the owner of the office. You are in charge of that office. You are the one shall yes. yes. Someone. Someone is threatening you in your office. Tell the person, I own the area. The madman is, he knows he's in charge. The earth is the Lord's. The madman operates some level of boldness. He owns the area. Have you, have you seen what the Bible says in Numbers chapter 13? They said, they said to Moses, Caleb and Joshua, I think verse 30, they said, we are able you are able to take the land. I like the word take. Somebody say take. So in your marriage, you are not a tenant. Stop being scared that a, a, a young lady is coming to push you out. You own the man. You own the area. You are in charge. You are, you are too in charge not to be in charge. You own the area. The madman has that confidence and that boldness. 
he has that loquacious audacity to know within himself he has that impetus to walk anywhere and stop anywhere if the madman come to your shop you need to gather people to push him out because when he comes to the shop you have to run out how come you are the one running from witches how come you are the one running from native doctors how come you are running from malams how come you are running from charms tell somebody i own the area in those days in those days when they have a mango tree and they don't want nobody to pluck from that tree they tie a charm to the tree the madman removes the charm and ties it on his waist <laughs> is that true as far as he's concerned look at rope he will he will he will gather his shokoto the trousers was falling before so he has seen something to amend it that's what they call charm but he calls it help belt mm. after he finished he will now carry stick the mango they said but a man that's normal will see it have you noticed nothing happens to the madman because he does not believe he believed that this thing they kept it for me the mango and the rope they are for my good so he plucks the mango and ties the rope why he has some level of insanity that nothing will happen am i speaking to somebody right now he just knows that nothing will happen the reason you stepped into the office and you carried a charm with your leg is because you believed that something will happen the reason you sat on the chair and you got paralyzed on one part of your body is because you believed that something will happen the reason they carried your photograph and they made the cantation and you had an attack is because you believe that something will happen but there is a god i serve he said, a thousand shall fall at my side. Ten thousand at my right hand. You shall not condemn me. Only with my eyes will I behold. And see the reward of the wicked. You don't serve a dead God. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God say yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Lord is on your side. Fever is on your side. Fire is on your side. God is on your side. God is on your side. God is on your side. Lift the world shout yes. yes. Somebody say I, I own the area. I'm in charge. Jesus said, Occupy till I sit down. Stop moving about with an intimidated mindset. You walk into a place and they tell you this is what has been happening. Hear me, hear me. Anything you begin, anywhere you enter in life, be it business setting, be it in marriage bit in your home i'm saying this because we have to move to the second service now but in any department of life that you enter carry a mindset that a god has shown up god said to moses i will make you a god unto pharaoh a mentality that you are in charge i was going to help Boma to preach one time and a native doctor sent a message he said tell him not to come or else we'll spoil the crusade with rain. And I said back to him, you reply back, you are in charge. A tenant does not intimidate a landlord. I replied him, I said, tell him I am coming. That the rain will actually fall, but it will concentrate on his house. And that there will be no rain in the field. Those who can remember that crusade, how many of us in that crusade? You are that crusade with me. Rain was falling round the feet. If you leave the feet to the road, you will come back soaked. Am I saying the truth? Rain was falling round. The rain removed the native doctor's roof, removed his window, collapsed the house. I own the area. Somebody, yeah, bend you now start in that sense of Nasta. Oh, Father Lord, they will now gather prayer, prayer warriors. 
emergency prayer warriors to start worrying themselves. Do not gather them. Oh, Father Lord, Father Lord, Father Lord, we rebuke her. Eh? Calling those things that be not as though they were. Who is it that say yet a thing and it cometh to pass when the Lord commanded it not? Have you not heard? Have you not known that the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither fainted nor is he weary? For there's no searching to his understanding. He giveth part to the faint. The young man may fall and the youth may fail. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not faint. Listen. In 2011, I prophesy, oh. anyone that attempts you shall be buried. Hey. Anyone that attempts you shall be buried. Hey. He said, sit down. At creation, at creation, the first impartation that man received was dominion. At creation, the first impartation that man received was what? Dominion. Let us create man in our own image and likeness. Verse 26 of Genesis 1. And let them have, let them have over the birds of the air. Because God knew that witches would soon fly, start flying. Over the fish of the sea, because God knew there is something that will become marine spirits. Over whatever creepeth on the ground, I'm robber, kidnappers, evil people, gossipers, hatreds, haters of destinies that creepeth on the you know what it means to creep to be sneaking in. In other words, you are hiding, you are hiding your identity, hurting people, and yet you are pretending. He said, Over whatever creepeth on the ground, let him have dominion. Have you noticed the madman is the owner of the area, but he doesn't talk too much? Have you seen the madman that exchange words with people? One thing about madmen is that they rule silently. They don't talk. In fact, his appearance is a statement. He will carry one Ghana must go. Another Nigeria must come. Carries, carries some rickety bags. Carries some empty cans. And he's walking about, he stop. He's the only one that hears the sound that he responds to. You give him chance for your own good. I, I, are you following what I'm talking about? I told us before, the only person that can stop a madman is a madman. Madness is in levels. When a madman is coming and he has his clothes on, he has his trousers on and it, he just has his shirts off and he's just walking like that and another mad person is coming stark naked the madman with his claw understand that in our school in our institution this guy is in a higher department is in a higher faculty his gp is higher than my own I, am i talking to somebody he, he has been a student in that in that realm for a long time that he has lost his matric number so i advise myself to give him chance you carry a madman is coming you not carry water you pour on the madman. He says, hey, clear water. Let me enter the dirty one. As far as the man is concerned, he's in charge. Stop living life. This is your mouth. Somebody say my mouth. This is my mouth. Listen, it, will never, it should never come out of your mouth that anybody is after you. You are the one that should be after people. You have been dreaming and seeing them. Why don't they dream and see you? Why don't they dream and see you? You saw your grandmother. You saw your grandfather. You saw your own cousin. You saw. When will they dream and they start seeing you? Let them start seeing you so they can't. They, you put them in panic. I don't dream to see anybody. I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody. My. Why will I see you now? Why? For what? Why will I? I don't see anybody. If I see you, not that you were in the dream, you were by the side of the dream. I was dreaming and you were passing 
when I wake up, you will tell me. I will summon you. You will tell me what you were doing around the environment of my dream. I'm not saying I saw you. I, I, you don't understand. Not that I saw you. I was just dreaming, doing something. And you were buying something by the side of what I was doing. Not that you kept. If I wake up, if I wake, you will tell me. You will accept I did not see you. I, as you were buying it, you back me. In fact, when I see you wake up, why will you back me? Why? Why will you back me? Because I am rebellious. Rebelliously angry. They are now waking. Are you now asleep? Somebody now, now put something in your mouth. You now open your mouth. Ah. You now collected it. You now, um, you now swallow. They now gave you water on top to digest the witchcraft. You now drank it. That error is deleted from today. <laughs> I say it's deleted from today. When you see what you don't understand, you call on the God of your pastor. Father, my pastor says does not dream bad dream. Why, um, why will I dream like this? Elisha got to a point, he didn't understand. He looked, there was water there. There was the rod there. Yeah, is the Lord God of Elijah. Before he started calling on his own God, he connected to the God of his prophet. I tell students, I have never failed an exam. So why will you fail? Why will you fail? I've been carried over. Why? You say, Papa, you don't understand. The lecturer doesn't like me. Somebody said to me, a, a, a student was brought to my office and he had about six or seven carryovers. And I said to him, What are you doing with seven carryovers? He says, Sir, 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 the problem, the problem I have is cool with that. All the lecturers, they don't like me. Oh. They don't like me at all. I said, Your father. Did not send you to school to fall in love with lecturer. Whether they like you or they don't like you, you can hate them if you like. Pass their course. Am I talking to somebody right now? They don't like me. I, 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 I am not coming. They just see me. They just frown. Carry of us. You are not a second class citizen. You are a child of destiny. Amen. You, are a, you are a carrier of grace. Amen. You are a carrier of divinity. Amen. Lift your hands shouting, yes, yeah, somebody. Amen. Number two. The madman is not ashamed. Who agrees with me? The madman is not what? The madman can be naked at any time. In fact, he, is 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 said to be don't mind my vocabulary english is communication he is said to be madder when he's naked is that true he is said to be what to be more insane he is said to have lost his mind on a perpetual degree when he is stuck naked. in fact when a man starts taking off his clothes what do they say Not ashamed. The madman walks into areas. I think there's an adage that the madman is not ashamed. It's only his relatives that are. Is that an adage? It's only his relatives that are ashamed. The reason God cannot do well for you in Mark chapter 8 and verse 38. The Bible says, He that is ashamed of me before men, I will be ashamed of him before my father. Some of you carry your Bible to church. When you get to where you work, you hide your identity. You don't want them to know you are a Christian. When they are talking, they say, All oh, these Christians say they are just carrying Bible on their head. You join them to talk. Why? You are ashamed of Christianity. Some are ashamed of their church. They can wear their tag to church, but they don't wear it to the office. If I wear it and they speak against me, what will I say? How will I defend myself? They are ashamed. But Paul said in Romans chapter 1 and verse 16, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. One of my cousins who was a Muslim met me years ago. Years ago, he said, "Yes, say they say you are moving about now with Bible." I said, "No, not only Bible. I'm a pastor." He said, "Ah, I pity you." I said, "Thank you, pastor." At the preach, I don't get work again. 
Can my work be that now? Preach. For bus, I go preach. For road, I go preach. Oh, yeah, now let's talk. Somebody walks to you and says, Look at the car. I have a man in my life. They are not married. The man has a wife. He has children. The man bought a car for her. He said, Look at the car he bought for me. Look at the house. He has paid for a flat. For me. He has bought a small house for me. He has equipped my account. He sent me abroad for holiday. And some of you start panicking. You are hiding your Christianity. You become ashamed of God. Hey, God. God, look at what church has done to me. Look at what Karim Bible has done to me. The guy, is, the lady is brandishing the car key. The brandishing the man has given her. Brandish, brandish your own also. As she's brandishing, you also say, thank God. I'm not thinking of HIV. Thank God. I'm not thinking of abortion. Nobody break my heart. Nobody's wife can pour me hot water. Thank God. Thank God. Brand your own. When they make my mouth, you make mouth. My God. Have you not seen people that, that are ashamed of their parents? The mother come to school. Hey, mommy. Mommy, go outside, go outside, go outside. Hey, 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 I'm coming. So is that? Uh, she's our name. She's our cleaner. Okay. That's your mother. Is your cleaner? There are some of you looking at me now. You know what I'm talking. You cannot allow your mother come to school. Hey. To do what now? In fact, if she said, if it's now compulsory, you give her what to wear. Mommy, dress like this. Mommy, hold this phone. You go give me back home. Hold the phone. This chain on my own. You go give me back home. Wear everything. Your mother now come. And from the way your mother is even walking the clothes, they know she borrowed it. They gave her, they gave her high heel to wear. She has not worn it before. So she fell down three times near the office of the rector. She fell down. She will stand up. A full rank. She not on. Angela, we are go press. <laughs> and by the time you even press it for her, she turned it upside down. You see what's going on? Mommy talk now. She now bend like, bend like microphone. Hello? Why? Look at what shame has made you. In, in fact, now the shame has increased. A shame. Some are ashamed of their church. Now that fire, fire church, they go say, um, they not be seen at the goal. But you know, problem. Problem of life. See that problem? Can't let me go there. Not be seen. You don't understand? Not be, not be there. Not be there. They go. Our church. I go about our, our church day. Our church now therefore baptize, confirm, and confuse. So this one, you know, problem, 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 problem can carry show, but they go anywhere. That problem carry me come. But that day we tell the fan, I go back to you for confirm and confuse. But there is somebody you speak against his prophet. Say, that's my papa, that's my prophet. Say what how many of you know when you declare confidently that you know somebody, people close their mouths. He's my pastor, powerful man of God. I love him. What happened? Well, just that somebody have to be careful because we are in the last days. Only God know the true prophet from the fake prophet, you know. But if you were quiet, they bring bring out episodes. Some of you like to hear. That's why you hear. Say, tell me, tell me, tell me. He said, don't worry. Say, tell me, tell me. Say, don't worry. Tell me. I'm not ashamed. Tell somebody I'm not ashamed of what I believe. While I was in school, they gave us free Bibles. Some people came to Nifes. Nifes is Nigeria Fellowship of Evangelical Students. It's a good Christian body. I was part of them. They came and they shared Bible for us. Small, small Bible. You can put it in your pocket. I didn't like it. 
Because I felt I was hiding my Christianity. So I bought a big one. It was as big as the Ark of Noah. I was carrying it like this. One time, brethren told me, they said, you, should, you need to hire somebody to be carrying your Bible for you. Very massive. Big. Bigger than the encyclopedia. It was an encyclopedia and concordance put together. So I carry them big, so that it will be heavy. Hey, Caleb! We will serve this God. Shaka, ta, ya, 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 ya. Caleb, bo, 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 bo. When brethren, when we meet ourselves in class, the way we greet ourselves, we greet in tongues. Have you not seen cultists? Cultists have a sign with which they greet themselves. I, am I talking to somebody? They have a sign. They don't have to put something from afar. They can have a way they greet themselves. They have the clothes they wear. You know, this one belongs to something. Then as Christian, so uh, you, you now enter the midst of your unbelievers. Ah, your fellow believer tell you more grace. Say, hey, wait on, wait on, wait on. Why? Uh, you can't say more grace because you don't want to identify with Christianity. Sister, more grace. Ah, uh, wait on, wait on, wait on, wait on. Sister, more grace. Oh, wait on now, waiting, waiting. Why? Because you are ashamed of what you believe, and yet another person is there. They say more grace, and the person Allah, sister, you too, more grace. We used to make in our class, in our class in school, we are the owners of the class. Or walk into class, you see a brother, he said, Hey, bro, Kalebo, Sha, Lega, Lega, Lebo, Mandaya. Unbelievers will keep quiet. He said, Hey, they, they don't start here. Number one, we are, number one, we are that kind of, Your Excellency, we are that kind of boldness because we are the top of the class. Dollars have no voice in class. Dollars, they normally stay at the back seat. All they do is they play supporting role. The lecturer is, is, the, is the lead actor. The dollars play supporting role. Lecturer is lecturing from behind. Dollars will shout. They will tell somebody, I will wound you. When somebody answers a question, you see, ah, you won't show yourself for this class. Eh? They are always behind the class. Tell them all, shut up. Hey, brother, it is well. How are you? Malik Kelebo. Sell it in the class. No, that kind of person who is that confident in class, can you bring any rubbish his way? Your problem is that you are singing Christian songs and you are worshipping God. A sinner comes, you change it immediately to sing what they know. Jehovah Jare, Jehovah Nisi. You are worshipping God. Jehovah Ebenezer. The one, one skipping girl just come. You just change. You are singing Jehovah Jare. You just saw skipping girl. Everywhere scatter, scatter. Jaga, jaga. Scatter, scatter. Look at the switch. What? You are ashamed. He says, You are ashamed of me before men. So, anyway, you enter, declare in the midst of Muslim, declare the child of God. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were not the only Jews in Babylon, but they were the only Jews who were not ashamed. They said to Nebuchadnezzar, Oh king, we are not careful to answer you in this matter. Everybody may bow, but we will not bow. We will not do what they are doing. We are not ashamed of the gospel. Of Christ, everybody bow. They refuse to bow because they did not bow. They did not burn. If you don't bow, you will not burn. They declare their confidence in God, their identity in the covenant of the cross. Am I speaking to somebody now? Don't be ashamed of Christ. Don't be ashamed of Christianity. Don't be ashamed of the gospel. Wherever you step into, declare your identity. Tell them I'm a child of God. Tell them I'm a child of the King. I am born again. I am. Filled with the Holy Ghost, I am baptized in the mansion. I'm baptized in fire. I'm a carrier of grace. I will not hide my Christianity. I will not hide my identity. Ladies and gentlemen, people that hide their salvation, compromise is a must. You cannot bring a deal to come and bribe. I was class rep. I was class rep, and I had issues with lecturers. Let me tell you what the issues were. When they want to give out malpractice, you know it is the class rep that enhances it. True of us. It's the house rep they meet to decide. Say they will give some things or you, you, you just... So they will tell you, pay through the class rep. Are you not students? Oh, school is now good. It doesn't happen anymore. Does it still happen? 
That's what they'll tell us. Pay through the class rep. So it's the class rep that will be in charge of coordinating the malpractice. He will be the one to tell you everything. He collects the whole money and gives. I had issues with lecturers because I'm not available for that kind of thing. So I was, I was the official class rep and there was another roving class rep was very available to collect. He was class rep. Roving. Blocking affairs. So that's the one they will meet. They will give money. They will pack everything. I say, I won't join this thing. I will not be involved. The problem we have is that believers easily adjust, easily acclimatize with the world. Easily connect to the world so sharply some of you looking at me now you don't know one christian song from beginning to end but let them bring celebi on you know everything in the album i don't mean just one cd you know the whole album even not the lyrics even the ad living you will say it with her these are christians so huh? compromise You are doing a wedding, and in your wedding, they are playing an, ungod, an ungodly song in your reception, and you are, you are just there. Say today, you know, today we could just today. Now, today, oh, now, today, not just once in a lifetime. That once in a lifetime can cost you a lot for life. Believers go to go for a wedding, and you see alcoholic alcoholic wine on reception table. When I was to get married, they said to me, they said, they said, they were very nice, I must be frank. But there was something they said, they said, I must buy drink. I said, eh? I said, I must buy drink. Fortunately, my wife was not there. So I could do what was in my mind. I said, buy drink. She said, yes. <laughs> I laughed. <laughs> uh, I said, you know, go walk home. They said, eh? eh? We did and I said, okay. All of us sit down here. As we sat down, I hungry, hungry. They give me pardon. Yeah, I ate. So it, it empowered my sitting down. So let's be watching ourselves now. How much was the drink? 11,000. I had 10, 10 times of that in my pocket. I said, I won't drop. I said, No, do you want drink camp? Now we want drink camp. I said, My money no day for that kind of thing. Because what I buy for you, now me drink camp. I said, We be there. We started though. They started negotiating. Okay. Pay for only 10 bottles. Money no day. Okay. Just anything but drink. Now our custom, you must put drink. Money no day. Some youths went backward. I, had, I saw some of them talking. Yeah, 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 and they came back to the elders. They spoke. It was like, this one is not serious. So. One of them came. And that man, I mark him from that day. I mark him in the name of Jesus. I mark that man from that day. See, today, I forgive him all, but the mark is still there. Eh? If the Bible says in, in, in Psalm 37, 37, mark the perfect man. And I told you, if you mark the perfect man, you can also mark the imperfect man. I kept the mark on his head. wife remembers on our wedding day the man came to church to reception hey i thought he was dancing with me he came and told me i said apostle you never pay balance balance <laughs> balance so i look around i said how much he told me so my excitement died you don't know what it means to marry on credit. My wife does not like this part. Anytime I'm saying this part, I say, what is wrong with you? But sometimes, as a father, you must say even the good and the bad part. So that some people will learn. So I started looking at the ground. I was calculating how much I was owing. Those who were spraying me. Then I see somebody spraying me more with 500 that I moved towards him. I dance more. Then, 
Then somebody, once you are spraying me with ten ten I avoid you by fire. <coughs> so I was calculating. 50, 500, 500, 1,000, 500, 25, 27. That one be like 100 naira. Make a check out. 28. Oh. If you are telling my wedding, you remember, if you were there, I danced so much. How many of you remember? How many of you were there? Did I dance? It was poverty. You think I was enjoying the song? You think I was enjoying the song? It was balance. I was dancing for balance. People don't want to hear the truth. And you know when you when you are when you now do such a thing, you overdo it. The dance will not even synchronize with the song. <laughs> After I now calculated, it was about twenty thousand. I now respected myself. Monitor complete now. <laughs> ah, he will marry in plenty. There is something that's common now and it's not of God. Brethren want to marry, they start putting everybody around them in trouble. I want marry. He don't deny. He don't deny. It's one more time. Bless you, bless you, forget my wedding. My wedding is one month. Uh, you, you, you forget that I will soon marry. Eh. I did say you forget because you never do anything. I beg you, don't allow your, your marriage become a liability to people. If you are not ready, don't propose. I tell people, don't propose until you have a purpose. It's not right. Let people play a supportive role. I didn't put my wedding pressure on my father. I didn't put the pressure on my mother. Say I want to marry and give me money now. You don't have to go. No! The Bible says for this purpose, a man shall leave his father and his mother. A man, not a boy. A man. The problem is that many boys want to marry. Boys don't marry, it's men that marry. A man! Not a boy. You now marry as a boy. And you now give birth to another boy. Who will father who? I'm not ashamed. Tell somebody I'm not ashamed. Can I go on? Number three. A madman is independent. He has no bank account. A madman does not depend on people. A madman does not tie his life to somebody. Somehow he knows he will survive. The problem you have is that you have seen people as gods. How many of you know that the, the madman does not connect himself to any human helper? But somehow the madman survives. Nobody pays his rent, but no landlord chases him. You, you can finish preparing the meal and the madman comes in and takes it at will. The problem you have in life is that you are too dependent on people. Over dependence on man ties the hand of God. Over dependence on man ties the hand of God. Spiritual man is a madman. So, if the madman is not dependent on people, how does he survive? The madman is not dependent on man because he believes in favors. The madman walks into a shop and collects what he sees there and eats it. His favor. <laughs> you put you put charm. You put charm on the road, a calabash with yam and oil. 
you sacrifice to a god and the madman saw it his favor the madman sits down and balance in fact he will kidnap the pot and he will eat it since the god the small god that you sacrifice to is not available the madman will eat it on his behalf nothing happens to him god says holy madness is here you get to a realm yeah, you are connected to favor you just know as you are stepping out this morning something must happen you know as you are walking out of the house something must happen i have traveled around the world and sometimes when i travel with mama i said to her sometimes i say you say you are seeing me here now he said yeah you are watching me he say yeah i said i didn't make any call i didn't make any contact i said money will come and meet me here some days ago i told you that i said just watch give me two hours now money will come he said yeah. i said i don't know money knows me and i know it I said, money will come. We're still talking. Piam. It landed. I said, I just know. Any continent I step into. I've been to a continent. They say it's hard. I get their favor break out. You don't understand. I said, you don't understand. When I get, when my wife had my first baby, there was no dime in my pocket. I was walking to the hospital. No dime. I had no name for the child yet. And somebody called me. I said, I just send you so, so, so dollars. I said, I have a name now. God's favor. I have a name. It, it, it happens like that. Why? I am too dependent on God. And that is why we have seen all kinds of people, governors and senators and ministers, come to this church. We have seen them. And I stand in their presence and I declare righteousness. Two of us. I stand in their presence and I say some things that some pastors can't dare to say. Why? I look up to the hills. From whence cometh my help? My help comes from God who made the heavens and the earth. He will not suffer my feet to be moved. He that keepeth me will not slumber nor sleep. For he that keepeth Israel neither sleep nor slumber. For as Mount they surround Jerusalem, so God is around his people. My eyes are to the Lord. My eyes are to God. He is my supplier. He is my benefit. Let somebody depend on God. Depend on God. Say that to two people. Depend on God. Depend on God. Depend on God. Depend. Your boss in the office is only a vehicle that God is passing through. He's not your God. I say your boss in the office is only a vehicle that Jesus is passing through. He is not your God. A Christian brother, his boss was always after him. Don't go to church. He said, I will go. One day he went to a vigil. And he came late. Could not make work on Friday night. On Monday, got to the office, knelt down and said, Sir, um, I, I, I will work extra. I will go for extra hours. And the boss said, Get out of my office. I terminate your appointment. The brother said, I'll be begging you, sir. I'll be begging you. He said, I've told you to stop going to church. Is it church that is the problem or I didn't come to work? Don't go to church. You are signed, your appointment is terminated. The brother said, please. He said, your appointment is terminated. Sir, please. Your appointment is terminated. The brother turned. While he was walking out of the man's office, he stopped. He said, sir, what did you say? He said, your appointment is terminated. And the brother said, I terminate your life. The man said, come back. They know they follow you play. Come, 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 come. Come now. Don't be play with the play. Reverse that thing when you talk. Reverse that. Dependent on God. If they sack you from an office because of righteousness, there are many better jobs waiting. Better jobs better jobs a new generation banker God help the guy everyone that comes to that bank there must be a major fraud on managerial level there must be a major fraud the guy will get to his office before anything he will lock the door all the tea one the tea for this office you know what happened to me all the tea one the tea for this office Holy Bale Solo Dorishalabayala. Lord, you are worthy. Thank you, Lord. The one whose eyes are like flames of fire. 
the one that sits upon the circus of the earth. Mo shila balada. He will worship God when he's through. Now give directives. Nobody could steal anything. Nobody could commit any fraud. Because God was standing to back him. Am I talking here? God was standing to back him. The problem we have is that we depend on that. People who don't depend on men have things done for them. A Christian, a Christian brother was walking somewhere where they move feces. People defecate, they will come there, clear up the feces, and they know how they pack whatever and they move it. Huh? Waste collectors, sewage, and they'll pack everything. Now they started putting them in bags, sacks. Lord Jesus. And this guy had issues with the people who were clearing sewage for him. How many of you know what I'm talking about? Escritas and all that. And they pack it in bags. So he packed about four in bags. The guy zoomed off. They left. So who will help him carry this thing to where they will dispose them? People are already covering their nose trees. People are already complaining. Move them. And he moved close and stood by a bank. By the road, by a bank. Bank. Sewage. Four. Sacks. By a bank. While he was standing there, armed robbers started driving. They saw a man standing by a bank with four bags. And they opened their car. Stop it. And in a hurry. And they moved the four bags. And they zoomed off. People started crying for the man. Hey, what has happened? The man started laughing. He began to laugh. They said, oh God, take heart. Take heart. Now God, they bring. Now God, they collect. He said, no, no, understand. He said, four bag. Four bag. Oh, how much? How much they inside? He said, now sheet they carry. Your enemy shall carry your load. Hey. I said, your enemy shall carry your load. Hey. Your attacker shall carry your load. Hey. Your oppressor shall carry your load. Hey. Let the one shot fire, yeah, yeah, yeah. fire. Number four, I want to pray. <laughs> Number four, the madman is not anxious of tomorrow. The Bible says the spiritual man is mad. So I'm showing you some qualities. The madman is not anxious about tomorrow. The madman has no microwave to warm his food. The madman mad man has no gas cooker to warm his food. Is not anxious about tomorrow. Matthew chapter 6 and verse 34. Take no thought of thy life. Do not be anxious of tomorrow. Don't bother about what you shall eat or what you shall wear. For your heavenly father's knows. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. I know the thoughts that I think towards you. The thoughts of peace. No evil to give you. My future is guaranteed. I know. I know where I'm going. I'm not going to end up the way others ended in my family. I will achieve what no one has achieved. I will break records. I will move under a terrible frequency. I'm not afraid of failure. The first way to escape failure is to conquer the fear of failure. When you conquer the fear of failure, you know that you can't fail. You just can't fail. I just cannot fail. God has not given me weapons to fail. I can't fail. It's not possible. I can't fail. I am not successful. I am a success. Am I speaking to somebody? It has never crossed my mind one day that I failed. Never. I can't fail. I can't have a bad news. I can't be stranded. I can't go down in life. I can't sink. I am a carrier of grace. I am too graced to end up in grass. I'm too graced to end up in disgrace. I 
am a carrier of glory I cannot fail I am an equation the devil cannot solve I know where I come from I know where I'm going I know who I serve Lift up your ways and shout hallelujah He doesn't make any special arrangements. He doesn't keep money in a fixed deposit. He doesn't buy shares in, account, in, the, in the bank. He doesn't buy properties and wait for them to appreciate. He's just conscious that once there is daybreak, God will take care of me. Once I got to school, I've resumed. I may not have paid my fees, but I know I'll pay. I don't know I will, it will come, I'll pay. I will graduate. I just know I will graduate. There are some of you students looking at me. Sometimes for two weeks, no full stop. You know the job. No, I don't know if it happened. There are students whose spots are perpetually clean. It will be clean. After about five days, they will now clean the dust. Remove the dust and keep it again. Why? Not in the but they must eat. That period is evangelism period. Stop visiting friends. I work out well. I had a friend in campus, he will put a spoon in his pocket. The way he's dressed, you can't connect him to spoon. Good t shirt and his jean, and you put the spoon there and you fly it. Just walk. You appear. See, Alpha, you the cook? Oh, I know they like this kind of food. Pepe, they? Oh, I know they like this kind of food. Well, because I like you now, what's your video? Because I like you, I go manage them. Put for plates for me. You will feel you will feel happy. You will now give him. You'll be shocked in your very before. The guy will uproot some weapons. You say what? You say no, no, no. I don't, I don't like contamination, so I have to carry my, my sterilized spoon. <laughs> but somehow, I will survive. Ladies and gentlemen, it should never cross your mind that you cannot pay your rent. What you should be thinking of is that very soon you are moving to your house. Have a consciousness of a better future. Have a consciousness of a brighter tomorrow. Amen. Don't be afraid of tomorrow. Amen. Don't be afraid of the future. Amen. Rise up on your feet. Holy madness. I'm not afraid. I am in charge. I own the area. I'm in control. Lift your right hand. Take this prayer. Take this prayer. Yoko Are you ready? Are you ready? Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As I begin to pray. As I begin to pray. I receive grace. I receive grace. To be in charge. To be in charge. In every facet of life and destiny. In every facet of life and destiny. I receive grace. I receive grace. To be in charge. To be in charge. In every facet. In every facet. Of life and destiny. Of life and destiny. Open your mouth and fire prayer. In the name of Jesus. I receive grace to be in charge. I receive grace to be in charge. I receive grace to be in charge. I receive grace to be in charge.
see you around this country. Look at me. What's your name? Huh? Eunice Igwe. Eunice Igwe. Bring that lady. Come here. There is a covenant that was entered when you were born. And that covenant is affecting fruitfulness. It's affecting you from bearing forth. Do you understand what I'm talking about? So long that covenant, she has problem with bringing forth. Problem with fruitfulness. So long that covenant is still standing. This covenant, you won't have problem with money. You won't have problem with anything. But to bring forth will be a problem. Look, I'm seeing, I'm seeing that from outside. And this covenant has held you bound. And this covenant is sponsored by a man that makes love to you in the dream. It's a spirit husband. Today, by fire. Set her free. Set her free. Set her free. Anything God has not planted in this body right now. Out! Out! Right now. In the name of Jesus. your season. Sister, you need to, you are not born again. You have gone far looking for this. You have gone far. You have spent. Because I'm seeing you in a place where they put, they mark something in your body. You went somewhere and they mark something in your body. They rub your body. They cut your body. put black substance. Is it true? I see that now. And a lot of things have happened. All because you wanted this. But today, the God of mercy may give you a testimony. Amen. Let her wait here. Let her wait here. Jesus loves you. You will enjoy the fruit of your labor. You will enjoy the fruit of your labor. You understand what I'm saying? Eh? I know go hear English well. You know the hear English well. Yes. No, it's okay. I say your children, you go enjoy them. 
God will help you to enjoy them. Are you, are you working here at all? I hear me. You hear that one? Yes. Who is she to you? Your mom. Uche. I'm hearing Uche. I'm hearing Uche. Hmm? Who? Uche Igwe. Hmm? My son. My daughter. Your what? My daughter. What's your name? Uche Igwe. Uche. Igwe. And you are coming, I'm, I'm, you are just looking at me like that. Or you didn't know you are the one I was talking about? You know? Yes. And you are doing that? Or you were not convinced? No, don't, you were not convinced that you were the one. Hmm? I know. You know? You know, there are some of them when you just say you cock it like that. Why is that keyboard silent? Just cock it like that. Say, you just guess. All right. Uche, God bless you. God will give you a good home. There's a boy that wants to marry you. Hmm? Who be David? It's my fiance. Who is David? My fiance. Your fiance? Yes. In Inewi? Yes. Oh. Thank you, Lord. This is your brother? My brother. As this boy was coming out, I saw they remove his heart. They put the heart of a tiger. Madam, some things where this boy could do, they fear you. Huh? Some things where this boy they do, if they fear you. Eh? He's complaining. She's complaining. Yes. Obuneme. Obuneme. What's his name? Obuneme. Obuneme. <laughs> and the heart he has is strong. He was four years old when they did it. They took his heart, gave him the heart of a tiger. And that thing is what is something is moving him to destroy. To destroy. Yes. You know, say something to control you. You know. You know, say something, which is not there your mind to do. You will see yourself the one. You know. I know. I know. Come. <gasps> Kneel down. Madam, the reason this is happening to them is because oh, the reason when this they are put to them now because your people no one make you enjoy your children because these are these children are great children but your people no one make you enjoy them and they see one village now that village there for the fight now Ishida Ishida yes where be that Ishida Wait, what is it be? Ishida. What is it be? What is it? Your town. Your town? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And three, two, three. When they were born, I don't know, when they were born, I'm seeing market day and I'm seeing three. After three market day, somebody came out with water and placed a cup. No market day. One, two, three. After three market days, somebody carry water and said something, and that thing is affecting them. Today, in the name of Jesus, set them free. Let your hand set her free. Let your hand set him free. Thank you, Jesus. There is somebody I'm seeing. I see a student in the polytechnic. Catering. I am more. I am more. Catering. And God is showing me something now. You are in ND2. Your name is Catering. You were born in May 20, 1984. 
Your name is Catherine. I am one. Please, anywhere you are, I want to see you. You are a student. But there is a problem. You already have a child. You are a student, but you already have a child. And there's a problem now. Your name is Catherine. Please, if you are here, I need to see you and pray for you. There's something I'm seeing now that we need to correct. You are a student. You are an MD2. In fact, the person that got you pregnant and gave birth to that child does not want to see you. Does not want to see the child. He's even saying this child, go with it. I'm repeating that again. Catherine, that's your name. Wherever you are, I want to see you. I want to pray with you. I want to see you. are here. Come. Come. Thank you, Lord. There's somebody, your name is Andrew. You were in school. You have a bike that you use. But the bike got stolen. You were still in lecture hours, during lecture hours. Okada, your Okada. During lecture hours, they stole it. And that looks like your only survivor, your only means of survivor. Please, let me see you. Are you the one? My friend, run here. Now back the TV, they work out like that. The TV motor will come. You were in the class? Or where were you? Where, did, where were you when they steal your bike? I was inside the auditorium. I wanted to collect scratch card that we used to do online registration. So what now happened? Before I came out from the auditorium, the bike got missing. The bike left the auditorium and went somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> you want it back, right? Come, kneel down. Kneel down. Ay, 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 ay. What's that I should ask you? He wants to do something. A bike, back, or a car. Now, now, hear me. I didn't say I want to do it. He wants to do it. He said, ask him. He said, I want to do something in his life. Does he want his bike back or he wants a car? I want a car. Wait, wait. He said what? He said, a car. <laughs> ah! Nigeria. <laughs> I was in Obakenzwa. Obakenzwa. Eh? Huh? 2007, about Kenswa Cultural, something like that. And the guy came. Anytime I'm preaching, he's, he's, he looks like a, a preacher. He's a, whenever I'm preaching, you know, one of those brethren who go out to preach, when I'm preaching, he will shout from the back. He said, Chai! See my brother. You remember him? See my, he always does that. So, most programs I used to hear, it, I said, Who is saying this thing? My senior brother. I said, My senior brother. So, one day came out. I said, Now. God says I should help you. Money. Is it car? Car or money or anointing? Which one do you want? I said, any amount you mention, you'll get it. Or anointing. <laughs> People are shouting, anointing, anointing. Say, give me money. <laughs> do you know? Eh? It was in Benin. It was in Benin, right? About Kenzua, yeah. People were saying, anointing. Anointing. I said, I said, money will finish. But the anointing will bring more money. He says, sir, it's our truth, eh? The money I need that. I said, we are putting pressure on him. The anointing will... Hmm. Look at them. Look at the crowd. They don't understand. And after he says, sir, I'm a student. I'm not paying my school fees. Number two, I have a mother. I need to take care of her family. Sir, I'm going to go, go, go can bring money. Sir, I want money. <laughs> but do you know that what he has gotten is what will finish. 
The anointing will bring more money. Don't go for the gift. Go for the giver. When you go for the giver of the gift, then you keep the gift and the giver. Don't go for the miracles. Go for the miracle worker. When you have the miracle worker, miracles keep happening. Keep happening. Thank you, Jesus. Lift up your right hand. Lift up your right hand. Say, Father. 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 Hmm. Do you know you need to pray to a level where your boldness will be expressed? That thing that always makes you deny God, deny Jesus, that makes you live a life that your Christianity is hidden, it will end today. Say, Father, Father, give me the grace, give me the grace to identify with the kingdom, to identify with the kingdom publicly, publicly from today, from today. Everyone around me, everyone around me, we know my identity. We know my identity. I receive that grace. I receive that grace. Open your mouth and begin to fire prayer. In the name I receive of that Jesus. grace. Father, give me the grace to identify publicly. I go shallow clutter. I declare my identity. I am a child of God. A child of greatness. I declare. I declare. I declare. I declare. I declare. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I declare. I declare publicly. I am a child of God. I declare. I declare. I declare. I declare. I declare. I declare. I declare my identity. I am a child of God. 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 I declare my identity publicly. I am a child of God. I declare my identity publicly. I am a child of God. The grace to declare. The grace to declare. The grace to declare. The grace to declare. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am a child of God.
opened. Sanctify this in the name of Jesus. Two things. You have to learn. Hold on. You have to learn how to keep things. Can you hear me? To yourself. It's not that you have much money. Not that you have money. You are managing. You are managing life. But even the life you are managing, your people want you to be spending all you have on them. Can I explain? The plan is that any woman that enters your life, they will kill the person. If they don't kill her, they will separate both of you. There's a woman now. There's a lady now. Hmm? Yes, sir. Presently now. Yes, sir. There was one before. Yes, sir. There was one before. That was my wife before. That was what? My wife. Yes, my she... late wife. It's late already. Huh? It's late already. She's dead. Yes, sir. There was one before. There's another one now that you want. You love, but you're afraid. Where is she? It's in the church, yes, sir. She's in the church, yeah? Yes, go and bring her. Go, go. Yes, sir. Something happened too. Yes, sir. Look now, look at this. Can you see what's going on? She has a background. He has a background. Two of them are coming together. Oh. Don't you see his battle? Oh. Do you understand what I'm saying? She's coming from a background. He has had experiences. She has had, and both of them are now. Coming. It's, 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 it's something that. There are things that you just need God to go ahead. Let me advise you, sisters, do not see battle and deliberately enter in the name of love. What you will spend praying for open doors, don't spend it binding satanic plan. The time you spend worshipping God and thanking God. Hold the hands and come. That pregnant lady come. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, stand, stand on the altar. Uh -huh. I don't know it's Hannah. 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 Ebu Chulem. Ebu Chulem. Ebu Chulem. Hannah. Ebuchulem, Hannah. Um, you stay. I see you in Lagos, but you are from Imo State. Yes, sir. Is that you? Yes, sir. Come. This. Stand up. There's a uniform. You are wearing the uniform. I'm an Air Force officer, sir. You're an Air Force officer. Yes, sir. Now. Two things I will tell you. The enemy wants you to do an operation. I'm going to tell you something that will shock you. The enemies have planted fibroids. And they want you to do an operation. Are you surprised at what I'm saying? Hmm? No, sir. You are not. I see a fibroid and I want to do an operation. And this is you. You are believing God to settle you. The very day you were born, that is when your battle began. The very day you were born, your battle started. And that is why May is your month. May. Yes, sir. Seventh. Seventh May. 1972. Yes. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Welcome. I'm seeing a nursing. By profession. 
you are a nurse by profession. Yes, sir. And you are an Air Force, you are a Navy Air Force. Air Force. Air Force. Because I see uniform and I see nursing. I'm a nurse by profession. Two, two. Yes, sir. Only you. I like this. Shake my hand. I like it. A lady should should diversify. Learn how to make hair, learn how to bake, learn how to. Some people, some ladies, the only thing they know is handsets. Test message. Beep, 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 beep. beep. They can operate phone. They can charge phone without charger. Nothing. Hey, they can't do. Facebook, MySpace, Twitter, Yahoo Messenger, Blackberry. Nothing. Learn. Arm yourself. Anything. You can be in school and there's a session for teaching. Is it, is it College of Education? What? Is, what's that? Are you, what's the, is it NC? NC? Psh, rush there. Computer program. Arm yourself as a lady. Arm yourself. It's very good. You'll be marketable. Anywhere you enter. Some ladies, if they have no job, they can bake cake. They can do meat pie. They can sell things. Some cannot. Even egg, they will burn it. Hot water, it will dry. Prepare stew. The stew will be like a map. Onions will gather to one corner. Pepper will gather. Everything will gather. Then there will be water in the middle as a denominator. And you are believing God you want to marry. Who, marry what? It's not God that is not answering your prayer. God is delivering young men from eating shower shop. That's why you see many young ladies. Say, what's your best food? Indomie. Lazy girl. Indomie is not best food. It's lazy people's food. Indomie and boiled eggs. Or you are believing God for fruits of the womb. And now you see a child. The child brings out something from the nose. Mm, carry, 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 carry. You better learn how to clean. Because very soon you see your own. I know a young lady who could not bait her child. When the child is screeching, you shout, Mommy! My picking sheet. But the mother said, One day I will leave the child for you. Sister, open your hand. This is your year to settle. Amen. You have sown seeds. Believe in God for this. And God said, I should tell you that this is your year. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I prophesy that God will connect you. Sister, I see a man also wearing uniform. I see a man walking towards you also wearing uniform. It's a parable. You can interpret it yourself. I won't talk more than that. How many of us understand what I'm saying? I see a man walking towards you. The man is wearing uniform. This year, Lord, make sure I'll be one of the first people that will get your wedding IV. Um, thank you, Lord. God Almighty. Thank you, Jesus. Give her a testimony. Amen. And set her free from this foundational attack. Amen. Let today be a day of deliverance. Amen. Out! Amen. Out! Amen. Bring her. Out! Amen. Out! Out! Amen. Stand up. God bless you. There is a battle. I see a battle. A royal battle. Yeah. There's a battle. I see a throne that there is a fight. There's that, a fight about the throne. That is true. And these people are after your life. Hmm. There's a fight concerning a throne. A royal throne. That is and true. And these people are ready to go at length to make sure they take your life. Hmm. That's what I'm saying. Somebody took your photograph to the west. Your picture. Somebody took your picture to the west to meet a man that does charm. 
Do you, you understand what I'm saying, sir? Very well. Pardon? I'm come, come. <laughs> Now, listen to what will happen this week. This week. There are people that have taken your case far. Hear what will happen. And hear me. These are people that are close to you. But they have taken your case far. God said, by mysterious circumstance, they shall be exposed. Amen. Amen. You know him. You know him. Oh, you, you did what? You invited him. Who invited you? You know him. I know him. What I'm saying, is it correct? Huh? Yes, sir. By mysterious circumstances, they shall be exposed. Him! I don't know. I want to pray, but there's a man God is showing me. Kelvin. A pottery. A pottery. Anywhere that man is, we will find him. I see the wife carrying a baby in her womb. And I hear two years. A baby. Anywhere. They want to kill that woman. They want to kill that woman. Anywhere we will find him. Kelvin. Akbo Tari. Anywhere. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want three persons who can spare one minute air time from their phone. Three persons. Thank you. Join them, sister. It's okay. All right, join them. It's all right. You want to call to? You can join them. For the life you gave to me, I come to say thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who died for my sins. I just want to say. something. I see the wife, two years a pregnancy. She will not die. Amen. While we are in Abuja, there was a girl I called out. <laughs> I know those who went now will start laughing. There was a girl I called out. She didn't come out. God now called where she was walking. Coast Carries. Is it Coast Carries? Who, who said that? Oh, oh joyful. Coast Carries Motors. The girl didn't come out. So, people now who know that company, you know Abuja people, they let us confirm if this man is real. They now call Coast Carries Motors. And Abuja asks them. They now call the girl. The girl say, yes, that's my name. Everything, yes. They now told that. said, no. Tell the man of God not to call me again. Is that what she said? She said, tell that man of God not to call me. Not to call. Not to call the name. Not to call her name again. It's okay. While we are praying, I told the people, I said, I see her crying. Is that true? I said, I see her crying now. They want to kill her, but she will come to her sense now. I see her crying. While I was still talking, she called the lady that called her. 
and she was crying on the phone. It's like her eyes came. They took her name. Somebody was borrowed money from her and yet took her name to a native doctor so she will die and she won't pay the money. Anywhere your name is taken to fire up here. Yeah. Hey. That's your amen is too local. Hey. That's your amen is too local. Hey. Let's I just hear this now. Let those people know the code I mentioned is 081. That's the code. Are you ready? Your two hands. Open it. There is a young lady I see you. I, I don't know, but I'm not seeing your parents by your side. I don't know if it means if they are dead or something, but I'm not seeing them by your side. But I'm seeing you. There is a child that you have. You are a student and there is a child. You are a new student. And this year, you'll be 28. This year, 28. You have a child already. God wants to take care of you. Is that you? Come. Kneel down. Kneel down. Open your two eyes. Are you ready? Say Jesus. 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 I depend on you. I depend on you. I depend on you. I depend on you. Jesus. Jesus. I depend on you. I depend on you. My tomorrow is secure. My tomorrow is secure. I depend on you. I depend on you. My tomorrow is blessed. My tomorrow is blessed. I depend on you. I depend on you. I will not fail in life. I will not fail in life. I depend on you. I depend on you. I will not go down in life. I will not go down in life. I depend on you. I depend on you. I will not be frustrated. I will not be frustrated. Jesus. Jesus. Send help. Send help. Send help. Send help. Into my life. Into my life. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Please, among the ushers, I don't know. I'm just hearing Friday, 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 Friday. Hmm? Eh? Who are you? Eh? I don't know. I see somebody wearing usher uniform, and I hear it Friday, Friday, Friday. Is it you? Is it the one? Yes. What's your name? Friday, sir. Stand up. I don't know. There's something I'm seeing that started 2004. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. What is it? I don't know, sir. There's a project I see that started 2004. It's my duty, sir. Is your what? Duty, sir. But you said you don't know just now. Yeah. Are you confused? Calm down. Yes, sir. <laughs> Your building yes, sir. since 2004 yes, sir. till now. Yes, sir. How many years is that? Seven. Seven. God will open a way this year. You'll finish it. Amen. This year, you'll finish it. Amen. Please, there's a young girl here. You had a relationship with a, a young man. I don't know. I see both of you through text message. I don't know how it happened. You met yourself. You started going out. And this boy and you there's something you now did you you carried yourself you went to a man and they did something like covenant something like a covenant that you and this boy did there is a man that is aware i don't know but that's what i see but it's something like a covenant if you leave me this will happen if i leave you that will happen please whatever that person is let me see you because that's the reason why you are not married till now you and this boy you are no more together but that thing is still fighting you please come is it you come thank you lord i prophesy upon your life who is lucky he loved her lucky he loved her I prophesy. 
from today all that are assigned to help you let them appear Amen. all that are assigned to favor you let them appear Amen. in the name Sign to help you. Uh -huh. Let them appear. Hey. Let them appear. Hey. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hey. This is your week. Amen. This season of your life. What what bring others down cannot touch you. Amen. Amen. What make them sink cannot reach you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. A new day for you. Amen. A new day for your family. Amen. Young man, stand up.